At the turn of the 19th century, the fur trade was expanding west. The Northwest Company sent explorers to find an overland trade route to the Pacific. One of them was a young man from Montreal, Simon Fraser. In 1805, at the age of 29, Fraser embarked on an epic journey. He was joined by two First Nations guides and 19 French-Canadian voyageurs. Three years later, he began descending the river that would one day bear his name. Having made every preparation for a long voyage, we embarked at 5 a.m. in four canoes. Fraser had numerous friendly encounters with First Nations along the river, but locals thought he was crazy. They knew how deadly the river could be. After passing the first cascade, the canoe was drawn into the eddy. The men had no power over her. It then continued to fly from one danger to another until the whirlpools forced it against a projecting rock. Upon this, the men debarked and saved their own lives. We had to pass where no human being should pass, through the gates of hell. As Fraser approached the mouth of the river, he came in sight of the village of Musqueam. The natives began making their appearance from every direction, howling like so many wolves. Several followed in canoes, armed with bow and arrows. We saw nothing but dangers and directed our thoughts towards home. Here, I must acknowledge my great disappointment in not seeing the ocean, having gone so near it as to be almost within view. Despite never reaching the Pacific, Simon Fraser's death-defying journey became legendary, and the river which he explored came to be called the Mighty Fraser. <laughs> 